Hey, what's going on? Tonight I'm in my 2012 Audi S4 and I'm looking to show you how you utilize 034's Flash software. This is going to be a two-part series. Part one tonight, I'm going to show you how you actually download and use and pick the right software for activating launch control. And in part two, I will show you what it looks like out on the street. So if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit that bell next to it so you can get alerts and you can see what this looks like out on the street. So first things first, you need to download 034's Motorsports Flash software. This comes once you purchased their software off their website. They will send you a link where you can download and activate your subscription. Once you get that, you will log in. Now you'll see here, if you don't have any connection or internet, you will not be able to access it. First thing you'll do is click your login. Wait for it to connect to the server and you can choose between your engine software and transmission flash. I utilize both. First, let's look at your options on engine. Now, once your controller has been identified, you will click next. And now it's time to determine which tune do you want. Everything based on what you ordered is what you will see here and available to you. I have the full stage two plus package. I have the availability of having a stage one with test pipes, so non-catted, stage two, and stage two plus. Now stage two plus you'll see has a couple different options along with it, that being the super duper throttle body. Now that can be from 034 Motorsports or also works with a uh, custom Hemi connection with the 80 millimeter throttle body. The INATB or APR's ultra charger. I currently have super duper 80 millimeter. From there, you get a chance to choose your active launch control your no crackle with active launch control. Once you choose your calibration selection, the next thing you will do is determine which octane and advanced launch control you want to have. This ranges from 91, 93, E40, and 100, and including each one is your high rev limit. Now this should also be matched in and again with the TCU software. If you do not have the TCU software, it will not reach these limits. You will see also that you have the ability to choose no crackle. Now, being in the tuning world and understanding that Zero 3 Motorsports has done a great amount of research and development in making the crackle run and run appropriately, I still suggest in the long run that this is not something that you want to run on a day-to-day -day basis. So for myself, I'm currently running my mix setup from my last fill up, which was actually E40 mixed with a little 100 octane. If you haven't seen that yet, please uh, subscribe to the channel again and you'll see that we did a full review on each one of these on the dyno. Once you get to the next screen, you make sure all your information is correct. You'll hit next you'll be prompted to then flash the software on. You wanna make sure that you have a battery tender hooked up to your car if you have not done so yet, and also that you have a safe amount of battery left on your laptop. So once that flash is over and everything has gone through, next you wanna test out and check the activation. First things first, we're gonna start the car up. Now you can activate regular launch control where you will use the pedal to manipulate and actually pick your launch or you will use your stock for cruise control flick it forward you will then hear your fans your auxiliary fans and pump turn on this allows for extra cooling during the launch control but also lets you know that you have initiated advanced launch control so one of the big things that comes with advanced launch control is you are going to have ignition cut with it. 
in order to actually pick where your ignition is. Once you pull the stock back and confirm, you'll see that our RPM launch now is at 1900. If I want to go even lower, I can click down a couple more times, pull it back, see that I'm down. If I feel like I went too low, I can click back up and see what my new launch is. Now you'll have to do some testing out. That's what we'll show on our next video to see what allows for the best hook. Now, when we see and set up everything for actually activating launch control, if you are to spin too much, there is a good chance that your car and transmission will automatically shift way sooner than you would like and basically skip a gear. If you want to control launch control without ignition cut and using throttle manipulation push the stock back into its neutral position you'll hear the auxiliary fans turn off and now you can control the launch control with your you press fully on the brake pedal to the floor hold and you can use your rpm to pick your launch i can hold it at 3000 i can bring it down to 1900 a little over 2000 hold it and release off the brake. Now, what does our launch control look like when we activate advanced launch control? Again, I'm gonna pull out my stock all the way back, check my launch control. We're set at a little over 2000 RPM. I'm going to make sure that traction control is completely off. I'm going to hold the brake all the way down to the floor. And I'm going to press the accelerator all the way to the floor. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a chance to see how Zero Three Motorsports uh, Flash software works, how the launch control works. Again, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit that bell so you get alerts and you can see part two where I'll actually show you what this looks like on the street and even get a chance to do some draggy runs with our zero to 60.